All right, Guardians, we do actually have something for the final week of Season of the Haunted. Uh, Helm Security Lockdown pops up on screen. One of these pop-ups, pop you may have clicked through it a little fast. Priority 1 Security Alert. We received a distress call from the Helm and then lost all contact. Investigate what has caused the communications blackout. So, let's go look. So, to the Helm. Not a whole lot going on here. Just your standard virtual things. Yeah, no idea what this is all about. I'm going to turn up the volume as well for us to land. So game volume is going to be up. So it probably will outdo me once we land. So sorry about that, but we'll turn it back down once we figure out what's going on. Um, okay. So um, the egregore, if I'm saying that word correctly, definitely has exploded out from there. Now we got it in the main helm area crawling up. It's almost by the front console. So yeah, that's definitely new, because it used to be confined mostly to the doorway. This, I think most of this stuff out and around here, definitely the stuff in the mid middle, all of that's brand new. So let's see what's up. You'll never Whoa. cease to entertain Hello. little guardians. Time and again, you have moved me to applaud. And have I ever withheld your gilded reward? No. For I am magnanimous, generous, forgiving. And so, I grant you yet another gift. One last chance at salvation. The witness in all its glory has set its covetous gaze upon your traveler. You cannot stop it. Light burns for only so long. A feeble flame, easily extinguished. But you need not share that fate. I invite you to instead join me in revelry and embrace the inevitable alas you have always been stubborn so if you insist on being devoured then i will savor your final moments until our next reunion guardian Okay. Um. Help. <laughs> Debrief with Zavala in the tower regarding the ominous message. Yeah, Callus is like, uh, we're going to come mess up your traveler, and we are basically not afraid of you anymore. So he's going to, he talks about being devoured, which makes sense for his giant planet eating ship that that would devour us at some point. Yeah. He also says the witness is coming for the traveler. So at some point there is going to be some meeting between those two, but we got to go to the traveler next traveler, sorry, tower, basically the traveler and see what's up. So Zavala high alert anomaly detected. Here we go. I'll cut forward once we actually get there. Oh yeah. Yeah, somebody in my chat asked uh, if he devoured the moon, would that mess up Earth tides? Oh, yeah. The moon is a very crucial piece to our entire ecosystem and tides and ocean. Yeah, it would it would be a mess. So, yeah, if we lost the moon, that would be a problem. Uh, all right, let's see what Zavala's got. I can't even pick it up. <laughs> High alert. Anomaly detected. Zavala sees you coming and steps forward to meet you. I heard. He exhales, exhales slowly. Kals' plans are foiled. His vessel stranded without a heartbeat above the moon. He shakes his head. I'm not sure how he projected himself into the helm, but it was the same here over the homes of the people we protect. His brow furrows with focus. Only a coward terrorizes innocence. Zavala looks you dead in the eyes. Callus and this witness think they can intimidate us. It's always the ones who claim to be invincible that crack first, and they've just challenged every guardian in the system. Another conflict on the horizon. I can't say I'm eager to meet it, but if it defends... But if it's in defense of our citizens, not the traveler, not the light, but for the people behind our walls, we'll be ready. So I need to actually be able to pick this up. 
So let me see if there's like a piece of armor that I can masterwork real fast that it... Mm, sure. It's like, I don't know if there's more steps to this one, but let's go ahead and do this. The one time that they give me something like an Ascendant Shard and I can't pick it up. Shocking. All right. Ascendant Shard. Acquired. And it seems like I got a Sparrow. Quest completed. Also comes with the Trower Marsh. Sparrow. Um, not the coolest looking thing. It's very related to the stuff we've been doing with Eris and all of her bits, but... Yeah, a little green tail, if that's your fancy. Uh, lore. The dead do not often speak, but I always listen. Vel, Tarlo, Sai, Mota, Omar, Aga, Ariana 3. The scarlet phantoms hang in the air beside Eris as she stares across the enduring abyss, her eyes fixed upon the lunar pyramid. Suspended between nightmare and memory, her old friends remain forever silent. Offering neither torment nor guidance, they listen and nothing more. And sometimes that is enough. Long has it long has it been since I've walked the pyramids' protean halls, Eris muses. Would it welcome me back now that I have meddled in its affairs by severing its growing bond with the Leviathan? Her fire team does not respond. It does not matter, she concludes. Regardless of the pyramid's agenda, Callus must not succeed. Her thoughts turn to the others aboard the Leviathan, confronting nightmares of their own. She wonders, as she has done many times since binding the Crown of Sorrow, whether she should perform her own severance ritual. Eris looks upon the apparitions that were once her fire team, and her gaze softens. For better or worse, she has grown accustomed to her grief. Let the others shed their burdens. She keeps hers close, heavy, and held dear. Without them, the silence would be deafening. It's kind of a cool little story to what's going on with Eris. So, like, a tiny little step forward with what happened to the events of Shadowkeep as well. But I think that's it, unless there's going to be something more on the director, which I would be surprised because it seems like if you got the Ascended Shard that we're basically done. Yep. We that, have much to discuss. that seems like it. So that is kind of a tiny epilogue. Basically, it does seem like Callus is able to project from somewhere. We didn't officially like cancel him out or anything, so he's still going to be a threat in some way. Uh, the 23rd is going to be the big deal. So a week from today, you guys are going to see me streaming. And it's probably going to be like 10 o'clock in the morning uh, Central Time. Uh, 8 o'clock in the morning Pacific Time is a guess. Sometime in the morning and 8 o'clock in the morning for the West Coast. Is this probably as early as Bungie wants to do? I don't think they would do 7. I don't think they've done anything quite that early. But again... I'll be on. I'll be looking for times as soon as you see me live. So if you're watching this video, find me on Twitch. That's probably the best place you'll see me first. And then uh, if you're watching here on YouTube for the epilogue and stuff, I will be posting trailer breakdowns. We've got information about Season 18. You guys know I'm going to be doing stuff over that. Anything related to Lightfall, I'll kind of encompass that as quickly as I can into a video. And then we'll be jumping straight into Season 18. So we will have to see what uh, what happens next Tuesday. But this is your final week in Destiny for Season of the Haunted. But you are going to have quite a few boosters. So you're going to have the double rank Vanguard booster. You're going to have the double rank Crucible booster. You're going to have the double rank Gambit booster. All three are active. So if you are looking to get any of those ranks up, those are all things that you can level up and go for. Uh, the Nightfall this week, uh, if you missed the Arms Dealer, sorry, that was definitely the good one to do. Proving Grounds is your one this week, so not quite as easy. I don't know what the weapon is yet, but somebody might. Uh, but yeah, that'll be your final Grandmaster. I missed the Grandmaster node, so you could work on all of them in the last couple weeks, but I guess they'll have to see if that is something that comes back in the future. But at this point, if you're working on prepping for Season 18, you got about a week left of anything that you may want to do. If you want to just take a break, play some other things, I'll be working on actually posting a review for a game I'm reviewing called Thymesia. It's kind of a little indie Souls-like, so look for that on the channel probably tomorrow. And I might be playing that live on stream on Thursday. 
But other than that, if you guys enjoyed this one, drop a like below. Let me know what you're looking forward to the most in Season 18 and Lightfall Arc 3.0. Let me know in the comments what you want to see, what you're hoping to see. And uh, the weapon is Silicon Neuroma. By the way, it is the sniper rifle in case you're wondering. But that's all I got for you guys. I will see you next week uh, bright and early, it seems like, for the kickoff of Season 18 and the showcase. So enjoy your afternoon, morning, or evening, wherever you're watching this from, whenever you're watching it. I'll see you soon.